This is Ken Clark. I want to welcome you to this broadcast I'm doing. It brings me great joy to get in front of this camera and to begin to speak as an oracle of God. God asked me over a year ago to begin to share my testimony. That's basically all I'm doing. And to spread, share my testimony and help those that hurt him and shed light to those that got a hearing ear. So that's basically all I'm doing is sharing my testimony. The title of this little motivating sermon, if you'll give me a few minutes of your time, I think I can help you. I'm on a mandate to have the anointing of God. The anointing of God is on my life for this. I didn't ask to do this. God asked me to start sharing this. I frankly didn't want to do it. Uh, but the title of this little motivating word is not what you know, it's who you know I help you get going in the direction that you need to go in. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Think about that. It brings me to a passage of scripture in Matthew, the, the 8th chapter, and the uh, 7th through the 11th verse. It talks about the centurion man. Recognize the authority that Jesus had. And, and the word got to Jesus that this man had a servant at the house that was sick. And Jesus said, I'll come and I'll heal it. And the centurion recognized the authority, the mandate that was on Jesus' life. And he said, you're not worthy to come under my roof, but speak the word. And he said that I'm a man under, a, I have a, I'm a man in authority. I say to one servant he do, I say to another servant he does. And Jesus marveled at his faith. He marveled at what was coming out of that man's mouth. So that man, thank God, he knew Jesus can heal his servant. He knew that Jesus didn't even have to come to the house to bring, to bring healing. So what did he say? Speak the word only and my servant will be healed. Jesus spoke the word. He sent the word. Think about it. What? What are you trying to start? What are you trying to get going? Maybe you're trying to get a gospel contract, a business started, or, or whatever, trying to start something that you need favor. It's not what you know, it's who you know in life. It, it brings me back years ago, we were able to, to do a $7 million home, it's about four years ago. I did a $15 million home about 10 years ago. But I want to talk about this, this $7 million home I did in Highland Park. Somehow this decorator out of Atlanta contacted me and I started doing business with him. He, I, I, I had such favor, he liked my work because I take pride. I'm a man that takes pride in what he does. And so, and, and I'm trustworthy, and, 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 and so this guy, was he was impressed with the finished product. And so he hired me to start doing work here in the Dallas market for him. And I didn't know that this guy, he had connections that got us this deal in this seven million dollar home. I didn't know that. I did not know that I was gonna be connected to do a seven million dollar through him. See, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And then, not only that, the same guy that got us the seven million dollar job because he knew somebody, and, 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 and this guy that he knew was connected to a a billionaire here in the Dallas area. I didn't know that. See, the key to it is not what you know, it's who you know will help you get going in the direction that you're trying to go in. Think about that. You said, well, the centurion knew Jesus, and I got great news for you. Jesus is all you need to know. 
know. He'll give you favor with those that you need favor with. I had favor with this guy out of Atlanta. We did that $7 million home, made a bunch of money off of that house. Because I had favor. He was connected. My decorator was connected to this guy that was connected to the lady that had the $7 million home. It's all about, the, in the big boy club, you don't need to know what you, if you're trying to start a business and if you don't have much understanding about it, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Who you know will get you going in the direction that God has planned for your life. I had no earthly idea that I would be an entrepreneur, but it was who I knew in this business that got me going. I started out working for smaller guys. He trained me, and then working for other people, and then I started working for this huge company, big painting company here in Dallas. And they were doing $200,000, $3 million homes. God was educating me. I was gaining knowledge on how this is to be done, the houses. I didn't, I didn't dream that I would be in business. And so through transition, long story short, the company decided to move its clientele, to move, not its clientele, just to move, because he was having trouble. I think at that time the, the market uh, had crashed a little bit, so it hurt some of the big builders. So he started pulling out and he was going to the East Coast. And he asked me did I want to go. And, and I've always been a man of prayer, seek the heart of God. And I, me and my wife at that time came home and prayed and God never said go. Now all the other employees were going. He said, Ken, I'm going to leave you in charge to finish out all these houses that I got left and I'll just mail you checks down every week. Didn't know that he was setting me up. So this guy's builder knew that the company is no longer here and he, he said, Ken, can you give me a bit? Because my job was playing out. I had so many, so many weeks left and that was it. His boss, the builder, that my, my, the, the guy that hired me to, the big company that was here, he asked me to give him a bid. Because my, my boss didn't want to do business with him because it's just a whole big deal. But anyway, I was able to get connected to this builder because my boss had left and wasn't going to do business with Dallas anymore. He was finishing up those houses so that he could get the rest of his money and it'll be, uh, he'd get the rest of his money and that was the end of the deal for my boss and, and this builder. So the builder hired me. It's not what you know, it's who you know I'll help you get going in the direction that you need to go. I want to I want to thank you for stopping in to this broadcast because these broadcasts is, is geared to give you hope. It's geared to connect you. To, it's, it's geared to, to help you make a connection. It's not what you know. It's who you know will help you get going in the direction that you need to go. Think about that. Think about that. I'm going to pray and I'm going to begin to release the angels of God to connect you to people. It's not what you know, it's who you know. I knew it was God orchestrating me with this designer, decorator, and then working for this big company. All of this was in God's timing. God was connecting me to people I needed to know. That's how people get started. They don't know nothing about what they're doing, but they know somebody that does. And somebody that does know it get them established, and then they make boo-coo some money. God says, I'm no respect of person. What I do for one, I'll do for another. I'm going to pray, and we're going to release the angels of God. Holy Spirit, I release the angels to go, and whoever's in front of this camera believing me, agreeing with me with this word, I release angels to connect them to the right people, the right source that they need to help them go to the next level in their life. 
I want to thank you for stopping in. God bless you.